Hello, dear, amazing, gorgeous souls. Welcome to Ascended Stars by Ali J, Glass Heart Divination. This is your December 2017. Capricorn reading, you guys, number two. You know, you came out. You guys are the ones. This is the second time I picked it. I've had to move and juggle and move and juggle, and now we're back to square one. Speaking of square one, yes, major event happening in the month of December for you, Capricorns, Cappy Caps. This is the Enchanted Tarot. Okay, I'm using that. Um, let's go through a little bit as I shuffle. November 14th, Mercury went into shadow and Sagittarius from 29, it's going to 13 degrees, 29, and it's going to go back to 13 degrees. So um, November 22nd, Neptune went direct at 11 degrees. The sun entered Sagittarius, which exited Scorpio energy. Woohoo! Yes, a lot of people are happy about that. Uh, Venus moved into Sagittarius. And I'll be there all the month of December. The third is the full moon energy in Gemini. Yes, Capricorn. The 9th, December moves into Scorpio. The 18th, the new moon in Sagittarius. The 19th, Saturn moves into Capricorn. That's the major thing. And then the sun on the 21st follows. And then uh, Mercury follows on the 23rd. And on the 25th, Venus enters your sign as well. So, um amazing amazing energy for you coming up so let's see what the cards have to say and uh, take it from there two, three, four major arcanas. All of the signs are getting a lot of major arcanas, by the way. In my readings, I don't know about everybody else, but I'm paying attention to that. So, um, <laughs> hey, the high priestess was smack in the middle, which I love that energy. I love it. I love it. I love it for you. It's really stealth. Um, you're in your high vibration and your high frequency. Obviously, you know, you're feeling it more of your power being drawn, called to you. Saturn is such a karmic and powerful sign, uh, planet, excuse me. And it coming home is going to be mega, mega satisfactory, I would say, for you after such hardship. Um, such, such hardship, my dear Capricorn. So... You know, we have a beautiful Ace of Pentacles, something being given to you by the, a new, a new, a new uh, beginning being given to you in regards to monetary value and whatever it is, um, you know, just the hand of spirit coming and moving things towards your way to be able to manifest and king of hearts so um people see you as this mature emotionally mature evolved human being that's wonderful and you are now embarking on a new journey and they see you willing as a willing participant as a leader being able to do this i don't a leader just came out i didn't say that in the cards but that just came out of my mouth um you know you're confident maybe because of the high priestess you feel this inner confidence about you that you are elude, you know, you are uh, emanating from your being, and you know, there's going to be some some quick energy. The tower could be like the break up, the break, the break, um, the breakdown. But now it's the breaking, building up. Excuse me, the building up is what I'm trying to say, and. You're going for it, you know. This you have a beautiful energy, beautiful, beautiful energy here, um, going into the end of December. And this is the full major arcana stepping into something new, something exciting, um, 
something worthwhile, looking forward to it, being adventurous. The Prince of Wands, you have a passion for something that you have um, been ignited spiritually and emotionally because here you have the Two of Cups. Again, it's the swans and, you know, the ugly swan and then it became this graceful swan. And it's that transformation as well that we're looking at. Uh, the magician, knowing that you have everything in your toolbox, you don't need additional education, certification, um, allocates. You have what it takes to do whatever it is you want. And you are very in tune with who you are because of the high priestess smack in the middle. So Saturn coming home is giving you this confidence that you've been probably lacking of late in the past. And the Prince of Swords, um, there's a message here that we're going to look into and see what the message is because the Prince of Swords is it's a quick energy, um, fast acting. So it's like you're in your A game because perhaps you have all of the building tools and now you're set. And now that your planet comes back, for a lot of you here that are watching, obviously this is intended for you to hear, you're in a place of movement. You're in a place of take of being able to take the action. And um, your heart, your heart center is in the right place. You have the, um, again, another wand energy. Well, yeah. No, not another, but this is the pentacle. So I'm confusing that one. But this, I also associate the prince of wands with the wands energy because he's the, the youngest, the most youthful of the energy of, of fire. And... Um, he is a go-getter and he's a flirt and so he's ready to go and get and flirt and be adventurous you have now the feminine version as a clarifier as the message here you know you're on fire your your intuition is on point you i, I really not recognize the cat there as well um the black cat and her you know high priestess energy intuition is on point you want to move forward um it, it, this could be huge illumination you know, downloads of information where you're supposed to be investing. Now you know where to invest your time, your energy, your efforts, your uh, outlook, your focus. It's into the future. You're emotionally mature now, capable of dealing with whatever comes your way. People view you that way. And you're in your heart center with the, the swan energy, the two of cups, the two of hearts. And then... The message is go for it go for it go for what you want to do you know go for what it is unapologetically be your sexy self and you know with scorpio here as well jupiter in scorpio as well it's really meant to be um intended for you to just shine shine like you know that's like the, the representative of the leo uh, uh, aries and the uh, sagittarius energy here fire fire so um, let me just tell you, with the full moon, we have Mercury, retrograde, and Sagittarius. This is a time of going back, okay? Going back and reviewing. Um, the full moon is at 11 degrees. We have an 11-11 triangle happening, by the way. So if you have that degree in your chart, that's really going to be important. Um, there's doors basically opening up. Okay, so this is opportunities coming, being offered to you. Ace of Pentacles. So for more money, perhaps, for something new. Maybe starting your own internet something. Something, maybe your own internet side business. You're passionate about it. You have what it takes. You really are involved. You want to get involved with that, maybe, perhaps. Um... What else? So, yeah, I guess, you know, just take it easy. Don't, with Mercury Retrograde, it's about reviewing for a lot of people, reviewing the past up until the 22nd. So this is stationary energy, which is in the center of your reading, the High Priestess. She doesn't do anything. She just is, okay? I associate her with Cancer Secrets, right? So you're going to be into going into deep into your own self, 
your secrets about yourself, your intuitive nature, the things that have propelled you or made you, your desires have made you do things, right? Um, I also associate her with Scorpio. You know, she is very confident with her self. Um, she can be okay, you know, on her own. She's okay on her own. And Pisces because of water. And we are in the, the Neptunian energy right now. So it's knowing, also being able to dream, right? Because Pisces represents unconditional love, which I always say, but also it's this dreamy aspect where you're able to just let your imagination go and fly and soar, okay? And these might be these these downloads that you have that are, are quite um, out there, okay? And that's making you really excited for some reason. You know, you want to go explore and check. Maybe check it out. You have two exploration cards here. Prince of Wands and the Fool. So you're going to be in this like giddy up and go mood probably. Because that's how she is. She is going for it. She goes, she, oh, let's go. Let's go to Vegas. Yeah, sure. Let's go. You know, she's ready. She's got her lipstick in her bag and she's done. And this is about traveling light, right? You know, you don't carry all that baggage with you. You let it go. Just enjoy life you're mature enough to know what's for right from wrong you're confident people trust you you know how who to trust it, you know it, it, it's just a really good all-round type of energy here for you okay so let's do um i'm also doing a, a celtic cross just to give us some more info on what's going down for my super signs uh okay so let's see what's happening for capricorn in the month of december spirit please let us know the month of december is going to be lots of electricity happening <sighs> energies we have to maneuver please give us the guidance as to what they should know moving forward in this life adventure <laughs> Especially with Saturn, especially with their sign Saturn, especially with their sign Saturn going straight back home. What's the messages for my viewership? Aha. Okay. The past. So here we go. We have the queen. This is in Spanish, by the way, but um, the queen of pentacles. I will be your translator. Uh, what's beneath you? Fighting, fighting for what you believe in. So you've sustained um, your home, you've sustained your home, your 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 place, um, you've been loving, you've been kind. This is you, okay? This is the Virgo and the Taurus and the Capricorn energy. So you are in your own integrity here. This is who you are. You've remained loving, kind, giving in all of those challenges, perhaps. And this is uh, the Seven of Wands. So here you are fighting off. You already learned to fight off. You know what you spiritually stand for. You know who you are. Let's see what's above you. Your home, okay? So this month, of course, of December, your home is going to be super important. This is your sanctuary. This is a happy marriage. Um, all of the good things, you know, the 1111 portal might have something huge to offer you right now. Um, you're stepping into a new energy, okay? Absolutely, because Saturn coming in, boom, new cycle. Two point, more than 2.5 years, I think you'll be. So whole new cycle they're saying. What the challenge is feeling isolated, feeling left out, feeling like you're not, perhaps not being not, not understood, you know? Um, or it's just stepping into this new energy and, and knowing that you can't bring certain people with you, that you got to take this step on your own and certain people that you love and care for may not be able to join you on this new adventure, this new time in your life. It's time to move on, okay? Because um, I do associate this uh, Five of Pentacles with codependence, but also it could be that, you know, you're not taking the time to look and see, hey, life is good. I have a happy, happy home. I have love. I fought for all the things that I've, I've come this far, you know, giving yourself accolades that I've come this far. Really, we can't underestimate the energy of that. Then we have the eight of wands. Fast, quick, maybe a short trip. Um, you're going to go visit loved ones. 
this is a great energy. I think it's more, you know, within the Gemini realm of go visiting people, short trips, people that you love, um, connecting with them, make, having a lot of communication through the internet, through the texting, through the emails, um, that type of energy. How you feel about yourself. You are waiting for the harvest. And you, guess what? The harvest is coming, darling, because Saturn is going into your sign so you're you're in this energy of like i've worked so hard i've done so much when am i going to reap the harvest well it's coming this it's it the, the harvest is here and the advice is great advice three of pentacles connect with others collaborate with others tell others you love them um connect with your family you know even people who are not blood related who you consider your family it's a time of reviewing i think in my opinion because the full moon in gemini is just about connections and it's those people you've said oh i want to get together with you let's do it soon and you never do now this is the time it seems to be like your kindred your tribe you connect with them to reaffirm who you are and then we have the seven of cups perhaps you'll be given a lot of options now are going to be put on the on the table in front of you and you got to pay attention that you pick the right option for yourself because you if i could show you the high priestess you know intuitively who you are you know what you stand for okay she's not superficial the high priestess she really is ethereal she's spiritual she's connected to her divine counterpart to her divine self to her divine spirit so she can't be um manipulated to, to do things out of greed out of uh status out of intimidation so <sighs> I don't want to leave you with that energy because it, this is like a question mark energy anyway, you know. So let's see what um, the clarifiers are for Capricorn regarding Seven of Cups as outcome. And, you know, you're going to have a lot of options and it's still in limbo because, okay, the retrograde energy. So don't make any exact choices right now because of the retrograde energy is what's coming in, okay? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. Um maybe because you're stuck in your old ways <laughs> you you might be challenged you know because you have an old woman here if this means to personally anything to anybody too maybe um uh I'm, I'm getting it as it's stuck in your own ways because you guys represent old people and old things and old ways um and love okay so this is a gorgeous energy wow love comes in so and then this is the lord so you serve love serve love Wow, I don't this is very interesting energy. Serve love. Um so the options have to do with perhaps being stuck in your old ways. Um, you know, and just have your servitude towards love come from the higher place, the higher vibration of into love. Um this is way I'm getting a lot of hits on this, but I don't want to go into it because it just means so it just is like wow, like a lot of stuff, you know, the way we treat women, Saturn having to do with the masculine. Um, yeah, so let's let's move on because if you want your own personal reading, we can really dig into it. And let's give you advice, Capricorn. And what would your archangel advice be? Let's see. Moving into the month of December, how to move into December 2017. I like that one, but it didn't quite want to come out. Let me give you three. Okay. We're going to do one love oracle card. I think I'll give you this one too, the Angela Hartford. Which is beautiful. Okay. It's a time for you where you're going to have a lot of sensitivity. Sorry for the glare. 
Hope you're not too sensitive about that. Um, you're gonna have a lot of sensitivity, so you're gonna have to be around, you know, kindred folks who are sensitive as you, um, your loved ones. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. You are safe. Okay, beautiful energy. Archangel Michael cutting cords. So yeah, I did mention that codependence thing. It, it, it could be a little bit of that going on, happening, where you have to cut the cords and you can't. It's very difficult. Call Archangel when you need your space, Capricorn, okay? Archangel Michael, I'm protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. He's so good. And if you could do affirmations and just say, thank you, Archangel, for the, you know, cutting of the cords between me and, and say the names. And it's really powerful. Crystal clear intentions, Archangel Michael. This is definitely a Centurion card because, you know, Saturn works where... It, it and, and that's how Saturn works, ironically enough. It cuts all the things that you are not able to reach to make sure that you're like, you know, um, have your feet on the ground and you're going to reach your goals and to be um, practical and to make sure, you know, that you have discipline about the things that you want and the things that you're going to go for. So that's why it's saying crystal clear intentions. That's the energy of Saturn. It really makes you work for what you want and it makes you see like you know it gives you gives you such a great feeling that you've earned what you've earned afterwards and you've made those choices to do the steps to take you where you want to go does not happen overnight because saturn is about 3d energy so 3d time 3d dimensional energy so it takes um discipline planning and um cutting those things that you no are not going to get you to where you want to be so this is our crystal clear intentions archangel michael again be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith um i often have mentioned the capricornian card about cutting you know he's got his sword here again but it's about you know being able to decipher and discern well i'm not going to go out because i have to be at work tomorrow early in the morning that type of energy where it's sacrificial but it gets you to the better place in the long run. Powerful, powerful energy. Call on Archangel Michael Capricorn. They're here for you. Let, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. This is your love card. And I love this one coming out for the month of December because it's not really taking initiative, but it's you know still taking action. Um, it's not taking initiative in a quick, quick, fast way, which Capricorn represents the Knight of Pentacles as well, moving slow in love and romance and, you know, towards an education and money and um, career. So this is a great energy because we don't want to really necessarily initiate love in the month of December with the retrograde energy after the, I, I'd even say even after the shadow of the 22nd of December, really. But um but I still, I think that, you know, New Year's is going to be the time where everybody's going to just be so itching and wanting to be together and bring in the new year. So I find this as great energy for the month of December. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Oh, isn't that sweet? It's the number four. Again, it's like the four of pentacles that came up for you. And that's a happy marriage. It's a good foundation. It's moving forward. It's tapping into your emotions, Jupiter and Scorpio here, but being deep into the desires of what you want and moving towards that desire in a rational way. Mental, perhaps, putting your head to it because he's this, this lady's on a bird. Planning, plotting. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with this energy of your reading. Thank you so much for watching my channel, for um, subscribing and commenting. I have instantgo.com, which is for iPhone users. Um, it hasn't expanded yet to other uh, Androids, but um, ascendedstarts at gmail.com. You're welcome to email me. And I wish you a wonderful month of December, whatever religion you are. I wish you the best. Celebrate with your family, your loved ones. Love is the highest vibration and I send it to you every month hoping that you are 
going to be optimistic and awesome things are going to happen now that Saturn's reached its home sign of Capricorn. Thank you. Take care. Till next time. Ciao.